last year? I was supposed to be on a bus from Moira to Lisburn for about 20 minutes, but I was on it there for well over an hour. It was a disgrace. I don't think the traffic is as bad as last year. It is still slow. You need to get here early and take your time and know the direction you're going in. We're around about half a mile away from the uh, entrance to this road on the main road. Uh, the traffic came to a standstill and uh, decided just to get out and walk. And we've, we seem to have passed a good lot of traffic on our way here. No Balmoral show would be complete without a royal visitor and Princess Anne was there to give her royal seal of approval. Over the next three days Balmoral was expected to attract huge crowds and the many exhibitors are working hard to make sure their animals are groomed to perfection. Traditionally the Balmoral show is about the country coming to the city. Now for the second year the show is in the country and it's clear to see this event is proving popular with visitors. Having a great day. Yeah, the weather's been a bit milder, a bit warmer than it was last year, so so far so good. The rain stayed away, kids are having plenty of fun. Every day the weather's good, good crowd, plenty to see and do. That's great, I think it's more roomy than the last venue, which is staying well with everyone. It's a case of all creatures great and small, with all the colour of the farming world on offer at the Balmoral Show. Richard Cull, UTV Live. At the May's Long Cash site. The Balmoral is more than just the biggest date in the farming calendar in Northern Ireland. It's a shop window for the agri food sector here that employs so many thousands of people right across the province. Here at the Balmoral Show this year, we're expecting up to 100,000 people. And on day one, our reporter Aideen Kennedy has been sampling the atmosphere. The special guest at Balmoral this year was Her Royal Highness Princess Anne, who was greeted by local dignitaries before making her way around the show. The atmosphere was buzzing as thousands of people arrived at Balmoral for the start of the judging. I'm currently in the poultry tent at Balmoral where judging is taking place and joining me now is Patricia Swandle, who is chairwoman of the poultry committee. Patricia, what are you actually looking for here with the judging? Each breed of poultry is judged to its own standard, to a breed standard, and then the best of breed goes into the best section. Would you say there's a lot of competition? Oh yes, there is this good healthy competition and it's, it's a great uh, thing to see so many young people involved in it. Now, one of the biggest industries in Northern Ireland is the agriculture sector and key to that is small business. Joining me now is John Friel from the Federation of Small Businesses. John, why are they so important to agriculture and the industry here? Well, a lot of our farm, farmers uh, and agriculture businesses are small. It's a huge event now and it's something that all farmers and all people look forward to uh, for 11 months of the year. This will only be over a month before people start talking about next year. You know. Quite impressed so far, now. Well, I've never seen that much, you know, but uh, no, I think it'll be a good day ahead of us, like, you know, so this man here will enjoy it, won't you? How many years have you been coming to the show? Well, more than I'd care to remember. <laughs> it's just a farming background, interest in... Mm. Uh, cattle, so this is where we, the main event of the year, to come along and see who's doing what. Now one of the stars of this year's show are the Irish draft-ridden horses, which you can see behind me. They're especially important because this is the first time they've appeared at Balmoral. Well, we'll be back here at Balmoral tomorrow for day two, and don't forget we have our special programme UTV at the show on Sunday evening.